Well, hey there, Leslie Sansone Williams, coming to you today from Paralegal Inner Circle class, which launches on May 15th. And you can find more info if you're on Facebook by scrolling through the feed on YouTube by looking in the description box for that class as well as the Cover Letter Secrets class, but also um, some free resources there for you. So check all those links out in the description box on YouTube. Um, face On the Facebook Paralegal Coffee Talk page, just scrolling through that feed, you'll find a lot of information about the same things, okay? So today's video is, the, here's the question. What are your personal needs, your career needs, your personal needs as a beginner paralegal whether you are jumping in from another career entirely without any education related to the paralegal field, which is totally doable, or you're going through a two-year degree program or a certificate program, all of those scenarios are totally um, doable to get into the field. So what is it that you're thinking about a lot that you're mulling over in your mind that you need personally? If you haven't thought about that, you need to because that will make your interview better for you. Okay. Now in my class, I, I go into the interview questions that you will be asked and that you should be asking. Okay. Because what you need and what you require to be happy should be number one on your list. Instead of always thinking about the employer and how to please that employer. If you're not happy, it's not going to work out. You're going to come home angry all the time, frustrated. You know, the first two months are difficult because you're learning new. And I don't care if you have a PhD in paralegal studies, you have a lot more to learn. And so those first two months, yes, it feels overwhelming, it feels difficult, and you have to see it through and just be uh, tenacious and stubborn so that you get through it and you learn all you can. Um, but let's talk about mm, some of the things I go into in my book, Legal Break-In. It takes you inside some of the areas of law, not all of them, there are hundreds so that you get an idea regarding whether bankruptcy or some other real estate, what, what is a fit for your personality? That's very important, okay? So let's talk about some of your needs. Number one, do you need routine and repetitive um, tasks every day that where you're gonna work on, say, or work in one area of law where it's the same every day. And does that meet your needs? Or number two, do you need something more diverse where it has many different things, this area of law, many different things going on throughout the day and you thrive on that? What are your personal needs um, that make you happy? What, what have you experienced that you don't like in past careers or that you absolutely love? You know, I would say nurses, and my, my auntie was a nurse, and I have a cousin that's a nurse right now, um, have a diverse type of day. New problems crop up that they have to solve. Same thing with some paralegals, and it's flying by the seat of your pants to get the answer for a client, for your attorney, um, all of that. Number three, do you need a calmer area of law? If you want to know more about that, watch my video from the other day. It's just a couple videos back about some of the calm areas of law to work in. And that has resonated with people versus what? versus working in some litigation, meaning preparing for trial. There are some calm areas of law you can work in um, to start out with, but it doesn't, it doesn't make you as well-rounded if that's what you want. So what are your needs? You know, if you go into trial prep 
in your first job or your second job, you will have a very well-rounded career, but that may not be your goal. Your goal may be, I just want to have a, a nine to five, I want to build my career, and I want to stay in the same law firm if I can, or corporate legal department or non-profit or government agency and I or city government I just want to stay there and I don't I don't want any upheaval and I've been there with that okay so I understand that so calm areas of law go watch one of the videos a couple videos back number four benefits what benefits do you absolutely need you should have now you should write all this down in your trusty notebook okay as to what your needs are put a heading my needs and put all of this down okay that's so write down the benefits do you need health insurance do you need 401k do you need disability you know insurance that type what are your requirements all right number Five, are you a multitasker? Do you like that? Where you're doing many different tasks during the day and it makes it keeps you interested? Or would you prefer that it's not as diverse as that? That's a legitimate question to ask yourself. Number six, the areas of law that I would say are kind of repetitive are some of the calm areas that I've mentioned. The ones that are not as repetitive because the problems um, or the scenarios that crop up are different. For instance, um, personal injury. You know, that was interesting to me to work in because my clients had all different problems they were dealing with and we had to come up with solutions if possible for them. Family law can be repetitive, yet every person, every scenario can be a little different, okay? You won't start to feel it's repetitive until maybe a year into it, two years into it. Workers' compensation is quite re re uh, repetitive, uh, which is somebody gets hurt on the job and they're out of work, yet they still want, they need their paycheck. All of that has to go through the court system usually. Um, family law I mentioned bankruptcy is very repetitive in the duties you perform but the the um, finances that you have to look at the clients finances and their paperwork could be a little bit different okay there there are all these different scenarios so one that I found was repetitive um, I did not work as a paralegal, but I, I was there. I was kind of substituting, helping out at a law firm for about a week one time. And the, the people, the paralegals there were fantastic. But it's a repetitive job. But you get to, if you like people, they were actually interviewing the clients and going to take pictures of their vehicles that were um, uh, subject to... Um, they might have been totaled or just, um, you know, were involved in a crash that impacted them somehow physically. And so the paralegals would go out and take pictures um, and, and do the interviews. So that can be repetitive, but you have a turnover of people all the time. And you have to like people, I think, to work in that. Um, business law, I think, can be extremely diverse because you have a... Um, interesting set let me get this robo call off here an interesting set of problems and they're not all the same you know and the lawsuits are quite different the issues to solve are quite different so what is it that floats your boat that makes you happy now you'll find out more about yourself by going on Google and researching those areas of law and just put in some areas of law, some of the ones I mentioned, and find out what paralegals do every day. Not what lawyers do, but what paralegals do. We're, we're, complete, we're very different from each other in the workplace. So what are we doing? And that's what you need to find out and read through the duties of those paralegals that, that you find and think, 
I think I'd love that. Or nope. See, I'm not a fan of working in insurance defense. I just don't like it. Or workers' compensation. I have worked in workers' compensation. It's just not interesting to me. But other people work in it full time that I know. You know, so um, I worked right upstairs from a paralegal. We used to go to lunch in Tulsa. And um, she would, you know, they had something like 700 active cases that was split between several paralegals. They were active and they were working on those. And um, it gets to be, to me, it would be um, a little bit repetitive. And I wanted something that had unique circumstances. So um, let me know in the feedback, what are your needs? Post in the comments below. Um, would love to hear what what you prefer, what you're thinking you would like. Okay, one of the reasons so many people are viewing my video about the calm areas of law, it's very telling about what we're all feeling. In the past year, this would be a normal thing to want because of the trauma of the pandemic. And we as workers don't want a lot of, I don't know, um, multitasking to the nth degree or um, a roller coaster ride in the workplace because we want calm. So watch that video as well, but I'd love to hear your feedback on what you're hoping to find, what area of law you want to work in, okay? Um, so that's it for today, and I will talk to you in the next video.